Hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I am Samala. I've come back again to our language videos. Uh, for some time now, I've not made the language videos, but I've been sharing other content. Of course, as we all know, my channel shares content in culture, in language, in scholarship opportunities, and much more on the entrepreneurship. So today, I've come with this very short video, which has as objective to help us distinguish, make the difference between the words academic and the academician. So what is the difference between these two words, academic and the academician? That is actually going to be the topic of our discussion today. It's going to be short, but very helpful because I see a lot of people making confusion between these two words. And uh, as I'm sharing my screen with you, to take you through this short lesson, please, if you are new here, subscribe and click on the notification uh, button. So let's go. We are starting with an academic. I see a lot of people confusing academic and academician. And this is it. even always helps me guys, you know, like when I browse through the websites of fake uh, academic journals, uh, journals from uh, what we call predatory journals, journals that would trick people into paying to publish and they publish almost just trash. They don't edit anything. They don't even review before publishing. Uh, the, one of the first things you will notice with most of those kinds of journals is that they even confuse an academic uh, with an academician. They usually call academics academicians. So today, I want to walk you through uh, the difference between these two words, which might seem to be related just because they stem from one root word, academy or uh, academy, but they are not actually the same. They have fundamental differences. So, an ac academic as an adjective means uh, relating to schools, to colleges, to universities, or connected, connected with studying and thinking, but not with practical skills sometimes. So for example, what are your academic qualifications? Another example, Aarhus University is a world-class academic institution in Denmark. Number three, academic standards must be very high and duly respected. But now an academic as a noun, is someone who teaches at a college or in a university or who studies as part of their job or one who works in academia as a researcher and or a lecturer. So this actually means that all university professors, all university lecturers would be called academics. So if someone is an, a university professor, you will call him an academic, not an academician, no. So for example, University professors are also called academics. So an academic is a university professor, a university lecturer, someone who researches and teaches in a university, in a higher education institution is an academic, not an academician. Another example, Professor Babila Mutia is an academic at the University of Yaounde One, specifically a call normal superior de Yaounde. So, and now, who is an academician? An academician is a member of an academy, a member of a, a specific academy. And by academy here, we don't mean strictly speaking academia, what we call academy, academy, okay, no. We're talking about acad an academy, like you can see here about the French Academy, l'Académie la Française, you can hear about the British Royal Academy of Arts. So these are specific academies, they are not they are not universities. They are not actually uh, institutions of higher learning or higher educational institutions. No, they are just uh, groupings, sometimes with artistic objectives, sometimes with academic or linguistic objectives, but they are not uh, uh, absolutely, they are not in the real sense of the word uh, colleges or universities, okay? So that being said, if someone is a member of an acad academy, like the academies I just mentioned, you will now call him an academician. So look at the example number one carefully. 
1823, he became professor and academician at Munich. You have to note here that he was a professor, which is different, and also an academician because he belonged to an academy in Munich, okay? So do not think that this is saying the same thing, no. Actually being a professor is one thing and being academician was another thing because he belonged to an academy, like maybe the Munich Academy, okay? Maybe the Munich Academy of Arts or something, but not that he will, that you, being a professor, you will automatically call him an academician. It is wrong. You will rather call him an academic. Number two, my mentor is an academician in the French Academy. My mentor is an academician in the French Academy, l'Académie Française. Members of the British Royal Academy of Arts are all academicians. Members of the British Royal Academy of Arts are all academicians. Leopold Seda Senghor, a poet and the first president of Senegal was the first African academician elected into the French Academy. He was actually the first black African elected into the French Academy, the Academy Francaise, which is like the gendarme, the police officer, the, the, the authority that supervises and guides the French language in France, in France, in France, I repeat, because the French language is not your, no, no longer just a French, the language of France, but it's now has become a global language and, uh, and other countries have a full right over that language, especially in Francophone Africa and elsewhere. And so to conclude our short video for today, kindly note the difference between an academic and academician, and please stop confusing the two of them. An academic is someone I'm talking about academic now as a noun because as an adjective, it means relating, relating to education, to schools and, and study. But as a noun, it means someone who researches and teaches in a university or a higher institution of learning. While on the other hand, an academician is someone who is a member of a specific academy not in the institutional or academic sense necessarily, but usually academies like the French Academy, l'Académie Française, or the British Royal Academy of Arts and so on and, and so forth, okay? So that's the difference. I hope from today, you will no longer confuse them. I hope henceforth, you will no longer confuse academic and academician. And I hope you enjoy this video. Kindly subscribe and share it with your friends. See you next time. See you next time.